Scrub a dub dub what's in the dub what's going on my scrub subscribers ace here and today we are here with the CCL season 2 round 2 match of my team the Alabaster Arcanines versus Zach's team the newly dubbed Las Vegas Victinis and uh, you guys saw in the team builder how I prepared my team and what I thought Zach would bring and uh, looking over at Zach's team I was actually a little bit pleasantly surprised you know I did figure he would bring the Megalopunny and the Zoroark and the Reuniclus um, but I also thought he might bring the Suicune and the Lando T. Uh, so I was kind of happy to see that he did bring those. And he actually brought the Nine Tails Granbull and Omastar instead. Um, so, you know, overall, I felt that Amoogus was a really good lead um, because I can get off a spore against anything except for the Uriclus. And uh, what I thought Zach might actually try and do is lead off with the Zoroark disguised as the Uriclus uh, because then I'd have to, uh, like, well, normally you'd want to swap out. Um, against the Reuticlus because you don't want to take a Psychic or a Psy Shock, but I'm EV'd specifically to live those and kind of limit down what the Reuticlus can do and then allow for one of my, basically one of my enforcers of Durant or uh, Mega Blastoise to just come in and blow that thing to smithereens. And uh, like I said, I'd like to get up the Sticky Webs. Uh, he didn't bring the Crobat, uh, so basically uh, Sticky Webs allows for my team to just kind of blow back his team. Um, because I can just get uh, Sigua up and then Durant outspeeds everything and then Blastoise is in a good position and Scarfed, uh, Scarfed a uh, Scarfed Little Pony uh, just puts in so much work with uh, Draco Meteor, Ice Beam, and Psy Shock there. So I'm looking in a really good position. Uh, so let's get into the battle there. Uh, like I said, I wanted to lead off with the Amoongus so I decided to lead off with it um, because regardless of what he leads off with, I can get off a Spore and uh, he actually leads off with Basilo, which is his uh, Reuticlus. And I was like, okay, this actually might be the Zoric disguise. Nope, it's not. Okay, uh, well, he's going to call mind up on my uh, kind of my misplay here. And in true fashion of even week one, I leave my poison type in here because I know I can take this hit. And uh, I am specifically speedy V to outspeed this thing. So I'm going to clear Smog off here uh, just to get off his uh, special attack boost. Uh, because I can't allow him to keep that up. And I know I can get this side shock just fine. Um, but actually this side shock does a lot more than I was hoping because it actually is a crit. So I was like, crap, I'm a little bit behind the eight ball now. Now I figure Zach really wants uh, to get this wall out of the way because uh, generic wall does put in a lot of work against Zach's team. So I'm going to swap my buggy here kind of just to put myself a little bit ahead uh, because I figure he won't go for a focus blast here and it wouldn't kill me regardless because he doesn't have a calm mind up. So you can just go for another side shock here, and Durant eats it up because its physical defense is top notch, uh, being a steel type. So now I can freely just go for an Exorcer here and bring the pain to whatever wants to come in here. Bug Bugger will take a chunk out of whatever comes in. Uh, so he top swaps in his Cordelia, which is the um, the Nine Tails, nice and shiny Nine Tails. And uh, we know this is flash fire here, so I have to be careful of um, firing off little wisps. Uh, but we do get a lot of damage off on that. And the way he brought it in, I was like, okay, this thing is definitely uh, choice scarfed um, because he like he brought it in that way, and he's thinking that he can just outspeed my um, my Durant like that. He's got to be choice scarf. So I bring in my choice scarf, Flodios, uh, just to eat up that hit because I know that I'm a little bit bulky enough to eat that. Um, and because of my dragon typing. And I double swap out here into Rotom Heat just because I don't want to get um, trapped by the uh, the Zoric here uh, with Pursuit because Pursuit would one-shot me regardless if he's a max attack. And uh, seeing the Intimidate, I know that this is actually the Gramble here. So I decided to fire off a will wisp here knowing that he like wouldn't he wouldn't go into the um, the Ninetales here realistically because if I Volt Switch then he loses his Ninetales and that's uh, one of his only swap ins. Um, and it's a really good sack off Mon as well. Um, and he actually missed a stone there, which is super unfortunate. I decided to go for the protect here, uh, revealing it a little bit early, um, because I kind of wanted to save, um, for the, uh, Mega Lull Pony to force it to high jump cake and miss. Um, but I just wanted to get damage off on the scramble because, uh, seeing the way he brought it in, he really wants this as, uh, a check to my, uh, Choice Scarf Latias. Uh, but I just really want to get damage off so that Psy Shock can kill this thing off. And uh, I decided to swap in Loon here because I don't want too much damage off on my um, my physical wall before I get uh, a Will Wisp off on the opening here. And I really like to get off the Sticky Webs uh, just because it slows down his entire team here. And uh, he missed the uh, play rough right there. So I'm able to um, get the Sticky Web off here free intact with my uh, 
my st or my focus sash fully intact. Now I figure he's gonna go for the fake out here because he probably isn't max speed uh, regular low punny. Um, just because uh, he doesn't really need the max speed with the Mega Evolution and the Fake Out, he'll get his speed boost already. So I figure he's probably like HP invested here, so I'm just going to swap in my uh, Physical Wall, predicting him to go for the Fake Out, because there's no reason for him to not. And uh, I got my Leftovers Recovery here, and now looking at my damage, I was like, okay, it's a roll here if he knocks me out with that Jump Kick. I'm just going to go for Protect, because I, I just have a feeling here he's going to go for that Jump Kick, even though he knows I have Protect. And uh, he actually does go for the I jump kick here because he wanted to kind of risk the roll and see if I just go for a will o wisp um, and just allow him to KO my physical wall. But no, I, I played it safe there just to get my leftovers recovery. And uh, he goes for the return here just to try and get off damage against this physical wall, which isn't too bad. Uh, I go for the will o wisp just because Mega Lopunny is a monster of a threat to my team and I need this thing whittled down. And now we're, we're looking in a really good position. I'm feeling really good about this. Hot Pockets is doing his job, man. Uh, now here I decided to double swap. Uh, he'll double swap. Oh, he'll swap here. I actually decided to double here into Amongus because I wanted to um, allow him to kind of put more chip damage on his little pony if he tried to go for like a high jump kick and risk like a crit or something like that. Uh, then I'd let Amongus just kind of uh, take that hit and uh, inflict that Rocky Hama damage as well. And uh, I get really fortunate here because he does uh, swap in his Frederick, the um, Amastar here. So I just I just choose, I'm like, okay, I can go for the Giga Drain here because he's probably going to bring in the Ridiculous, but either way, I still get um, I get the recovery of um, the Giga Drain. And then when I swap out here, uh, because I really don't want to stay in against this thing, again, um, I'm just going to uh, get the Regenerator boost and I'll be like chilling like a villain against this thing. And, uh, like, if I swap out here and uh, he kills something off, like, even if he call mines here and then kills off something, um, then I'm in a fine position. I decided to swap in Loon because it is Focus Ash, so it's guaranteed to live a hit. Uh, he just goes for the side shock trying to kill my Amoongus. And uh, it does just over half, and uh, I don't have any leftovers. I am Focus Ash. But here I can just go for an Exeter, even if he brings in the, um, even if he brings in the, uh, the Nine Tails here, I'm fine because I'm just getting off damage on this thing. I just want it to go down, uh, basically, so that um, I can just end game sweep with. Uh, I want to end game sweep with either the Durant or the Mega Blastoise. So I just need to kill this mon because this thing, um, you know, with the Sigi webs up, will out to be Blastoise and get an energy ball off. And uh, if I miss with Hustle, then I could get Flamethrower as well. Um, so he goes for the Flamethrower here. I predict that, and I swap into not blue one. Pretty like just same kind of wash, rinse, repeat uh, kind of going on here. Now here I figure he won't swap in the Zorark uh, on a possible Draco Meteor. He'd probably bring in Gregor again and uh, kind of bring it as a sack. So I just decided to go for the side Shock here as he intimidates me up. And I just go for the side Shock here. Uh, and the way he's been playing around, I'm pretty sure that his uh, Zorark is um, like a Choice Specs or a Focus Sash variant. And I kind of want to see what he'll do. So he brings in the little pony here, and I'm like, okay, he's definitely some kind of specs variant. Like, he has to be specs. Um, because he, he wants to get damage off because he know he will not speed. He's not scarfed. Um, and it wouldn't matter if he was scarfed regardless because of the, um, the sticky webs. But he just decided to fake out here. And uh, I go for the side shock here just to blow back this little pony. Um, and like I outspeed, I outspeed um, because I was straight scarf, but also because uh, we did have the sticky webs up. Um, so I'm, I'm just like, chilling in a good position. Now he doesn't know that I'm um, I'm Troy scarfed here because he was caught in the sticky webs. Uh, but uh, like either way, I'm I'm almost positive this is a Zorak right here. I just have a feeling that this is a Zorak here, and I just kind of want to bring in my hot pockets here because it's done its job. Um, because Mega Pony did already go down. Uh, and he reveals that he actually is a choice spec Sorark here as he goes for the Dark Pulse and uh, almost like one hit KOs my um, Hot Pockets from 75% of health. I just go for the Protect here to see um, like if he'd swap here or like what he'd do because I do have um, I do have Pain Split on this just in case uh, like he wanted to swap into his actual Frederick so I could get off um, the Pain Split and just eat up some some of his health or get off a will wisp against whatever comes out. Um, so I'm feeling in a pretty good position here. I decided to bring out Bugger here as a 
my uh, hot pockets to go down there to dark pulses. And uh, I can just really go for an iron head here because nothing really appreciates swapping into this. Uh, this will be too hit to it KO'd. Uh, as he's caught in sticky webs, uh, he can't outspeed me regardless, even after a shell smash. And he actually manages to avoid an iron head because of hustle. But I go for another one here just to get off damage on this thing because Mega Blastoise can sweep at this point. And uh, I get the flinch, which kind of makes up for missing hustle. Uh, but we just go for iron head again and to KO this thing. And now the. Uh, like he brings this thing out again, and I was like, okay, uh, I know I outspeed you because of the um, because of the sticky webs. I'm in a fine position, uh, but I really didn't want to risk it because of hustle. Um, like I just was like, you know, let's just make the safe play here. Let's not do anything crazy. Uh, bring in my not blue one because it's done its job, and basically here I can just scarf myself into ice beam and be in a fine position. Uh, so I just scarf myself into ice beam here. It will take out this Cordelia. Um, because at that range, there's no way, like, my, my Laudius is, like, has the special attack kind of to be able to do, like, damage there. And he actually brings in the Robin here now, and, uh, knowing that he's a Specs here, uh, I was like, it's very unlikely he has Sucker Punch, and even if he does, it doesn't really matter, because Nabla 1 is probably gonna go down here anyway, because I'm not winning KOing a Zorark with an Ice Beam. Um, but it does do a pretty decent chunk there. And now I was like, okay, you know, I have Durant in the back. I don't really want to mess around with Hustle. So what I can do is just bring out War Turtle here um, and Mega Evolve up and go for an Aura Spear because Aura Spear plus Dark Pulse on the um, the Ridiculous is a 2 hit KO um, regardless of whatever happens uh, because he did take the um, small amount of damage uh, from my uh, Amoongus early turns and didn't get a chance to recover up. And uh, I know I'll speed... Uh, even if he's max speed because I have the Sticky Webs up there. And uh, my Amunk is outsped regardless. So I, I know I outspeed. Uh, but we Aura Spear here. Which actually ends up being a crit. Uh, even though all that not, not very effective. It didn't do that much. But I know that Dark Pulse will uh, KO this thing. Uh, just because I, I invested it to basically take it out at 75% health. And that thing is gone. And now I can freely just uh, Aura Spear off the Zorark here and kind of clean up this match in a matchup where I was a little worried that this Zorark was going to tear through my team. I feel I played extremely well around this Zorark. Uh, I didn't allow my Latios to get trapped by it. Um, even though he was a spec variant, you know, I had to go against that. And he actually uh, reveals that he did have the Grass Knot, which was um, problematic to my team. This is like the Zorark basically had like coverage for my entire team. Uh, but I just didn't allow him proper situations to like bring it in for free. He didn't want to swap in on Willows and uh, just get himself a little down. And I got that sticky web up, which really slowed him down. Now, uh, from week one to week two, I definitely feel I made a lot of improvements. And uh, I played extremely well. And uh, I kind of wish I recorded that one live for you guys because I, I did so well in that matchup. Um, I might record future ones for you guys live. But, you know, I feel like after the fact, I can kind of... Um, express my thoughts to you guys a little bit better but yeah guys that's gonna be the video um, thank you guys so much for watching you know the Alabaster Arcanines are 2-0 and, oh, and we're feeling really good about it um, and uh, thank you guys for your support on these videos and everything I really appreciate it uh, make sure to hit the like button subscribe down below if you you know you're rooting for the Alabaster Arcanines to take the cup because we're, we're going for it man and make sure to check out Pachi's links down in the description. He uh, played the match extremely well. I just felt, you know, uh, my playstyle classed him a little bit uh, just because I prepared extremely well for his team. Um, yeah, but, you know, make sure to check out his links as well as everybody else's links down in the description. But thank you guys so much for watching. This has been uh, a great experience for me to be able to be a 2-0 and uh, basically just be able to bring you guys this, um, this season uh, from the Alabaster Arcanines, I feel like we can definitely take the cup this season. And, uh, you know, leave your comments on uh, in the comment section if you guys are supporting me. I really appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you guys so much. I'm out. Bye-bye.